In this coding exercise, we have a little bit of an interesting challenge. So our request is to increment the string value sequence. And specifically, we need to append the next item in the sequence of a string. So in our method that we need to implement, it's called increment value. And if we pass in the string A, B, C, D, E, then the expectation is what is returned is A, B, C, D, E, F. And right here, if we pass in a string of numbers of one, two, three, then we should return one, two, three, four. Now, if you have ever heard of the next value or the next method in Ruby, it actually comes in very handy. And it is a method we can call on a string. So using our example here of A, B, C, D, E, if I call next on this, it will give some kind of interesting behavior. So what it does is it looks at the string value and it can say, oh, okay, this is exactly what the sequence is. It's A, B, C, D, E. If you remember back to the guide that we did yesterday where I showed how to use ranges, this is the same kind of thing. But the you may notice a little bit of a problem here. We can't just call the string and next because this does not actually give us the full return string. It replaces the last item. So instead of A, B, C, D, E, F, it cuts off the E and it replaces it with the next item of F. So this is not quite what we want. If I were to run this code and run the tests in it, Well, obviously right now it failed. I didn't even implement that. Hold on, let me clear this off. So let's just say right here that we're only calling string.next. Now if I save this and run the file again, you can see what the problem is. It expected A, B, C, D, E, F, and it got A, B, C, D, F. So what is the fix? We can actually use something kind of close to this implementation, but not exactly. What we're first going to do is grab the actual string that we we're sent. So in this case, string is, or str is the argument. From here, we're going to append the last item. So here I can say string dot and then next, and one interesting note, next actually has an alias of S-U-C-C, and this is their, the exact same method, but the difference is that this is just, I, I have a harder time remembering suck, which is short for succession, so I usually like to use next. And then after that, we can call slice, and then pass in slice the argument of negative one. So this is going to, slice is a method we can call on a string that goes and pops off the very last value. If you wanna see how this actually works, we can take our same string of A, B, C, D, E right here, and I can call next dot slice negative one. And now if I run this, you can see that it has popped off the letter F. So what we're essentially doing here is we're creating two, or we're working with two strings. We're working with the original one, which is whatever gets passed. Then what we're doing is we're saying, okay, take that string, call next on it. So in this case, grab, it's going to do exactly like what it did over here. So it's going to go and it's going to convert it and say A, B, C, D, F and then simply grab that last item. So it's going to create the full string right here, but then because we're calling slice minus one, it's gonna go and grab the last item and that's going to actually give us what we need because then all we have to do is append it to the original string and all of this gets returned. So I'm gonna clear this off and let's actually 
test this before we run our tests. So here I'm going to say increment value. It doesn't, my autocomplete doesn't want to work. So there, increment value and pass in, we can just do ABC. Run this and you can see it's going to say ABCD, which is perfect. And now if I switch this up and say the other test case of 123, this will return 1234. So that is working perfectly. Let me clear off that code, hit save, and now if we run the test again, both the tests are passing or both the expectations are passing. So that is how you can create a increment value method inside of Ruby and how you can leverage a few common methods such as the next method combined with the slice method to get the exact type of output that you're looking for.